and we should not be too much against something that is not good, that is not Krishna consciousness. So we have to consider everything in relation to Krishna. Just like money, that's something people are very much attached to. Some people are very anxious to get wealth. They are very, very strong desires to get money. They will do a lot of, they will do even crimes to get money, to get wealth. They will do anything. Sometimes people are working very hard. Do we want translation? And they will commented in Kishori. Kishori means translation. Hare Krishna, Samad Bhagavad Gita, Patao Dhatiyayam, Nangu Ainda Urupadam, Parashyaga, Namba, Orna, Sentralaga Padma Rodur Padamaga, Iniki, the Padatra, Ainda Urupadam, Adoda Samasta, Epudi, Patru Vindi, the same way in Padre, Nude, Velakorika. So money is something people are very, sometimes they want very much to get money and they think if they have no money their life is meaningless. I was in uh, India, in Bengal one time and we were staying, we were doing, uh, we were traveling in different places and we, we had we were, it was arranged to stay in one man's house. So the man told us how he had a son, but his son committed suicide. And the reason why he committed suicide was because he said, Father was a poor man. Father had no money. So he thought, life is not worth no meaning. So he killed himself. So, of course, that is not good to do that. You have a human body, you have the human life. We're meant to use it. And just because we don't have money doesn't mean life has no meaning. There's many people who have no money, but they're very happy in life. Some, some years ago, not very long ago, maybe like 10, 20 years ago, they did a survey to see who are the happiest people. And they found that Bangladeshis were the happiest people. Although they're not rich, they're happy, they're satisfied. When we often find that some people who are very rich are very miserable, very unhappy in the land. Famous actors and uh, pop, like that, politic movie stars, they have a lot of money, but they're very unhappy. So money doesn't make people happy. Some people. Some people, they hate money, they just want to, they don't want to touch money. 
There was even a famous sadhu in India who didn't touch money. And people thought, oh, he's really a great man because he doesn't touch money. But that is also not right. Everything has its use. Money can also be used. Not if we have the money, we should use it. Not that we have to reject it. So if money comes, if money is given to us, we have to use it. We have to know how to use it in Krishna consciousness. And if we don't have money, we don't worry about it, we accept it as the grace of Krishna. Just like there was a great devotee of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, his name was Sridhar. His name was Kolaveka Sridhar. Kolaveka means one who sells bananas. So he was called Sridhar. He didn't have much money. He just had a few banana trees and then his income was just from the sale of some bananas. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is a member of the world. He is a member of the world. He is a member of the world. He is a member of the world. But whatever income he got, he would always spend 50% to worship Mother Ganga. And he was happy. And Lord Chaitanya saw that his home was broken down and he had old cloth. He had nothing of any value in his home. He was very poor. So Lord Chaitanya wanted to give him benediction, wanted to give him blessings. But he said, no, I'm happy, I have everything I want, I don't need anything more. So Lord Chaitanya said, if you just give me more, it doesn't mean I'll be change my life. I'm happy as I am. Why change anything? So we have to learn to accept whatever situation we're in and be satisfied in that situation. Just like sometimes a young girl, sometimes a young girl, you know, she wants to be very beautiful. And if, 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 if she's not very beautiful, then she feels very unhappy, very disappointed. But we have to understand everyone is put into different situations and everybody is suffering and enjoying in different ways according to our past activities. Some people may be very beautiful but the, their beauty just simply brings them so much trouble. And their beauty is very temporary, it doesn't stay very long. So we have to understand the nature of these qualities of the material world. And a devotee will use whatever 
situation he is in for the service of Krishna. Just like the woman who is very good looking, she can use her beauty also in the service of Krishna. And the man who is very rich, he can use his wealth for the service of Krishna. So whatever we are given, whatever situation we find ourselves in, whatever position we are put in, we accept these arrangements with the plan of Krishna. You may have something, hmm. don't be attached to it, don't be proud of it, understand is given to us by the grace of Krishna. And we don't have something, we're lacking something, or we may hate something, we don't want something, we shouldn't be too much detached, right? we shouldn't be too much disgusted by things either. Mm. We have to learn to live in this world and to see everything as the plan of Krishna. So accepting the good and also recognizing something else which is bad, you know, we cannot get away from these things. These things are going to be there. So don't be disturbed by them. We hate something that's not good, that's not Krishna consciousness. And if we love something very much, we want it very much, that's also not good. We have to always control the mind and be equal in every situation. That is, means we have to be in Krishna consciousness. We have to see Krishna as a controller. And accept the good and, and the bad as the arrangement of Krishna. Sometimes Krishna may put us in a very good situation, other times he may put us in a very bad situation. We have to be steady, we have to control the mind. And we have to go on in Krishna consciousness. Alright, so that's Samatha. The next quality is Tushti, satisfaction. Tushti, satisfaction means that one should not be eager to gather more and more material goods by unnecessary activity. One should be satisfied with whatever is obtained by the grace of the Supreme Lord. That is called satisfaction. Go ahead. Tushti. So in other words, we should not be greedy to get more and more. 
என்ன சொல்ல வரைஞ்சோம் நம்ம ஒரு ஒரு பொருள் மேலே நம்ம ரொம்ப பேராசை கொள்ள வேண்டிய அவசியங்கள் இது நமக்கு இல்லாமல் போச்சு அது வேண்டும் வேண்டும் பேராசை we want to come to the level of the mode of goodness and in the mode of goodness we will be satisfied in whatever condition we are in number sadhvi gunathu vara vendum and sadhvi gunathukke namukku thiruptiyam nimadhi namukku kudukku and there's passion where you want more and the passion enna namba rashisha gunam adu vandu namukku romba aasaya adhigarikku idhu venum idhu venum and there's ignorance where we don't know how to use what we got adhe tamasu gunam adavudhu namukku edhe eppadi payanpaduthu theriyadhu solli irukku but the mode of goodness means to understand to accept whatever is provided by the grace of krishna adhe sadhvi gunam nadgunam pandikollumbodhu namukku ellame eppadi bhagavan seyil edupadunu namukku purinjikollalam so a brahmana one who is brahmana he is a symbol of the mode of goodness he can be satisfied in this situation and our brahmana nu solla bodhu avanga sadhya gunathile avula vendra adnala ella sunnilum eppadi ellathiyum bhagavan seyil edu padikkala avanga nangu therindha brahmana means one who is on the path to the brahman to the spirit he is not concerned with the material brahmana gana sonna avanga brahman brahman sonna பிரம்மனலையை அறிஞ்சு அது புரிஞ்சு அறிஞ்சு கொண்டிருக்க அதனால அதிகமான தன்மையில் அவங்க ரொம்ப அதனால அவங்க கலந்துட மாட்டாங்க பௌதிக தன்மையில் உள்ள சூழ்நிலைகள் சொன்னால் நமக்கு திருப்தி இருக்காது இன்றைக்கும் அதிக அதிக வேற்றுடைய ஆசையை வந்து just like when we eat we never eat enough we always want to eat more i want more and more and when we sleep also we want more and 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 more but we never sleep enough and we never eat enough we never satisfy and the saapadam thirthiyaga mudiyadu so we have to come to the level of krishna consciousness means to understand we're not the body that we're spirit soul to be satisfied in every situation sometimes we eat very good and other times we don't eat very good sometimes we sleep very good and sometimes we don't sleep very good so we have to be satisfied with every situation go on with krishna consciousness parachya krishna ullukku namu mechi panna vendum adha tushti adha tushti solla kudu the next quality is tapasya adutha gunangal tapasya adha solla kudu so tapas means austerity or penance there are many rules and regulations in the vedas which apply here like rising early in the morning and taking a bath sometimes it is very troublesome to rise early in the morning but whatever voluntary trouble one may suffer in this way is called penance similarly there are prescriptions for fasting on certain days of the month one may not be inclined to practice such fasting but because of his determination to make advancement in the science of krishna consciousness he could he should accept such bodily troubles when they are recommended however one should not fast unnecessarily or against vedic injunctions one should not fast for some political purpose 
that is described in Bhagavad Gita is fasting in ignorance. And anything done in ignorance or passion does not lead to spiritual advancement. Everything done in the mode of goodness does advance one, however, and fasting done in terms of the Vedic injunctions enriches one in spiritual knowledge. So, when the Prabhupada is describing to us about austerity, tapasya, which we should do, we, we do need to do some austerity, it's purifying for us. அடுத்த குணங்கள் தபஸ்யான்னு சொல்லக்கூடியது அதாவது வைராக்கியம் என்று சொல்லுவோம் சில விரதங்களையும் சில தபஸங்களை நம்ம மேற்கொள்ள வேண்டும் ஆன்மீகத்தை முன்னேறுகிறோம் ஒன்று முதலாவது முதலாவது என்ன சொன்னால் நம்ம அதிகாலையில் எழுந்திருக்க வேண்டும் under the help of the mother mother had, i think had told her to come to me and so she was saying that i have great difficulty to get up in the morning i can't wake up early in the morning nete ore thai magal vande anda magal sonnala enakku ore kashtam illa thaliyila adhigaal endirukku romba kashtam illa so she said she gets up usually about Fasting 
on the holy days like Janmashtami and uh, Ekadasi also. But if you know Thakur says he has written a song about the different processes of devotion. He said, Madhava Titi Bhakti Janani. That by observing the holy days, Madhavatiti means the holy days, by observing the holy days like Ekadasi and Janmashtami, it becomes the mother of devotion for those devotees who take shelter of that process. Bhaktivinoda Thakur, our Kavila, our body, in the Madhavatiti, Bhakti Janani, Sutra, Adavadi, Ekadasi. So Prabhupada points out, fasting is not done for any material reason. You should do it to get devotion, not for any other purpose. We get people fasting for all kinds of material purposes, political purposes, or maybe they have an exam coming, they want to get past the exam, they'll do some fasting to get some blessing for the exam. <laughs> Sometimes a couple, they want to have a child and they will do fasting to get the blessings of the Lord. Just like Krishna and Sutapa, Krishna and Sutapa, they did austerities. They wanted to get Krishna as their child, not for one birth, but for three births. Mm. And so they did fasting for a long time. They were just eating dry leaves which fell from the tree. And they were doing this for a hundred years of the demigods. And they got the blessing, the Lord would come as their child for three births. <coughs> so he came first uh, as Krishna Sutapa, the Lord came as Krishna Garbha. And then next birth, Krishna Sutapa became Kashyapa and Aditi. And the Lord came as Vamanadi. And then they became Vasudeva and Devaki, and Krishna became the child. Of course, right after Devaki gave birth, then Krishna went, was taken to the home of Nanda Maharaj. So Krishna came as a child, but she didn't get to enjoy the childhood pastimes. And then later on, Vasudev lamented that he had taken, they'd done so much to get the Lord as their child. And he never thought to get liberation. He just simply wanted the Lord as his child. So sometimes people want a child, and then when they get the child, the child may be a demon. The child may be very bad, you know. So sometimes people want a child, and then when they get the child, the child may be a demon. 
There was one king, he wanted a child. Finally, when he got the child, the child was really bad. He would kill people, he would kill all his friends, he play with the people, he would kill them. Vena, people would say, oh, oh, here comes cruel Vena. They'd all run away because Vena was so cruel, he killed people. So the king thought, this is the arrangement of Krishna that he's taught me that I have to renounce the world. There's no point to stay in a home where the, my son is like this. If my son had been good, I never, I would never want to leave home. But now I can see my son is so bad, I should just, I'm just going to go away and leave the home. <laughs> Yeah, when the sun is very good, you never want to leave. So if the sun is bad, it's better. <laughs> You're not attached. So tapasya, doing things like fasting and tapasya and so what tapasya under the monkey man and the army or Okay, any questions? Yes, Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my little obeisances. All the Shri Prabhupada. Um, just now you were speaking about uh, samatha, equanimity, and you were saying that one should not um, be too attached to something, neither should they hate something. And you said that if you are placed in an environment where things are not very good for us, we should accept it as the grace of Lord Krishna and make do, you know, make the best with what, with what we have. So my question is, Guru Maharaj, if we are placed in an environment where maybe it's, it's not very fortunate and things are not very good, do, should we endeavor to make it better or you know, no matter what, just ignore it? Like, let's say we have, we have, we are, we are maybe not very rich, should we try to become richer? It, it may be for the service of Krishna or should we just accept it as it is and make no effort at all? So where do we draw the line? Because nowadays, you know, people in the material world, we're all trying. It's a requirement also, maybe, to serve the Lord. Okay. So where do we draw the line, whether we should stop uh, endeavouring to get more or to, to just accept things as it is? Oh, you want to kill me? That's why we have to do Samastha. Samastha is a good thing. We have to do this. 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 That's why we have to do this. That's why we have to do this. 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 Well, everyone is trying to get money. Does it mean everybody is getting it because they're trying to get money and they're going to get it? No. They try, people try, but it doesn't mean they get it. They get what they deserve. According to their karma. Someone has a good karma, somebody has a bad karma. Just like I told about Sridhar, he was poor, but he didn't worry about it. And Lord Chaitanya wanted to give him blessings, but he said, no, why? The bird lives in his nest in the tree, and the king lives in his palace. 
ஒரு குருவியாளருக்கு உள்ள மரத்துல இருக்கு அதே இடத்துல ஒரு அரசர் அவருடைய மாடியில் இருக்கிறார் everybody is suffering and enjoying according to their paths ellarume kashtama kumbhu avurudeya guru jendukaram mari avan nikkara it's not just oh i work very hard i'll make a lot of money avaru kashta potte pala sambarche adanal andha mari illa appadinu varilla some people work very hard they never make any money sila per romba kadumiyaga vela seivanga adu oru panam kuda avanga setu vekkiradhu they work hard they try but money somehow doesn't come their way கஷ்டப்படுவாரு <laughs> then you are a foolish person who think like that and that you may work very hard you work all day and night and just mean you get a lot of money you don't bagala odatha and panaka nayar kondi irukkudiyathu some people have three jobs a job in the day a job in the night another job on the weekend sanalik moonu vara seivaangal pagala seivaanga iru seivaanga weekend seivaanga and still the poor abhiyam avanga yemmaya da irukkaru there is not just a word they hard make a lot of money adanal romba kadumiyaga vela senja pana sambarichirala avanga vande some people don't work at all they are very rich sala per velai seiyamaatanga ana periya kodi sonnaaga irukkaru Thank <laughs> you. 